All right, you lovely YouTubers. In this episode, we're making some uh, resin infused Focus Mark II WRC style bonnet vents. Stay tuned. Okay, so I've got the mould out ready, uh, so we had a good few layers of release agent applied. So first thing I'm going to do now is put some tape around the perimeter uh, for the back vacuum bag. This is going to protect the edge from uh, when I apply the gel coat, it'll just keep this nice and dry. So I'll have a nice surface to put, apply the vacuum tape. So, let's crack on. Okay, so um, we've left this to uh, cure overnight. Uh, it's now nice and dry to the touch. So now we can start building up the layers uh, to what is called the stack. So we'll be having um, some layers of woven fiberglass reinforcements. Then we will be having a uh, infusion mesh, which will allow the resin to travel over uh, the reinforcements and saturate it with resin. Then we'll have the uh, the vacuum tape. Then the vacuum bag. And then we can actually start the infusion, so here it is laying it up.
Right, so we've got the backing bag on here now. It's all sealed around the edge. I've not tightened it up yet. Got it connected up to the uh, the catch pot. So I'm just going to get the uh, the vacuum pump, plumb the vacuum pump in, pull a vacuum on this, uh, move all the flow media and the um, all the hoses in a position that we're happy with, and then uh, we can just check for leaks. So let's get on with that. Okay, so uh, the vacuum bag is now fully sealed, just clamped off this end, it's clamped off the uh, vacuum pump. And we can see on the gauge that it's just got no movement whatsoever. So I'm confident I've got a good full, full seal on that. So I'm just going to leave it now for about another, another five minutes just to double check that there's no leaks because once we start running the infusion, that's the, as soon as the resin starts going through the inlet, that's the point of no return. So. While it's, there's no resin in it now, now's the time just to double check that everything's, we're happy with it. There's no voids, there's no bridging. Um, so yeah, just, just giving it a good check and make sure there's no leaks. So give it another five minutes and then we can start mixing some resin up. Okay, so I've, uh, I've left the part now for a good five minutes and this, the gauge hasn't moved. So I've mixed up some resin. It's just degassing, degassing there but it's got it's quite a lot of few micro bubbles here just rising to the surface. But the way I've designed the stack and I've got the uh, diffusion method, um, so I'm using the uh, MTI hose on the edge, it'll draw all the air out anyway, so there's no issue with um, air voids or air bubbles. So I'm gonna whack the pump on and um, we'll get this thing infused. Fully infused. There's no, uh, there's no dry fabric left at all. There's no air in it. Clamped off at both ends on the inlet and on the outlet. Uh, got the resin as well. Pretty much just right. Just one little cup. So we've just got to let that cure now overnight. Um, then we can break it out tomorrow. But yeah, pretty straightforward that one. Nice and easy. Right, it's been 24 hours. And the, the resin's fully cured now. Looks to have been a good infusion. There's no way I got into it at all. So we can start doing the debagging process now and then um, start breaking it out.
okay so uh, here's the final product it's all been trimmed up now they're giving it a little bit of a clean uh, this is just a gel coat finish but it's all trimmed up ready to be installed uh, the customer can either put like a Zunsport or me metallic grill on the inside or just leave it open and exposed I mean these are motorsport products so these, these are basically just to get airflow through the um, the bonnet but the uh, the different the main thing is this is an infused part so you can see how how thin but incredibly strong it is compared to the, the a lot you get a lot of parts out of for sale which are fiberglass but they're wet lay so on the back you typically have a lot of resin pooling in these areas which with infusion you, you just don't get you just get this um this this lovely finish And um, if I just just look at this, put it on the scales. So we've got that's registering. Right, so it's on no. Let's get one of these. So I can just hook it on there. Hundred and sixty grams. So that's mega mega light. So that's, that's basically how I do all my fiberglass parts. Um, same for carbon fibre. Carbon fibre is done exactly the same. Same process, only difference is it's a carbon fibre fabric. So the price is very, very close. On a part like this, there's quite a big difference in price because it's so intricate. The layup time takes uh, forever and a day with carbon. Uh, so this is a bit of a, an odd one. But on the majority of parts, such as uh, bonnets, boots, uh, roofs, you're talking about 80 quid's worth of difference on the retail price. So everyone just goes for carbon fibre. But um, I hope you liked the video and you've, you've seen the process and um, please like, share and subscribe and I'll, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.